Welcome back, Rudy. Alpha Investments. What's your name, sir? I'm Nick Pollock. This is Nick over here. Nick, what do you have? Share, share with what you have. I have a Mox Jet. This is, what is it, Alpha or Beta? Uh, I'm not sure. It's what I came to you. And, okay, tell us the story of the card. Uh, there's a format in Canada called Canadian Highlander. Show the card. Um, I bought a Canadian Highlander collection. He wasn't sure if it was real or fake. I came to you guys to see if I can, you can. How much did you pay is. for it? I was in the collection. I paid about like $3,000 for a collection. Okay. Um, it was already kind of worth that much money, so I didn't really lose a lot if it is fake. Okay. If it's real, I'm happy. And this was recently or a long time ago? Uh, it was about six months ago. Can I see the card? Yeah, absolutely. Can you take it out of the case? I, I can't. It's a screw case. You have a screwdriver. No. Well, how are we supposed to leave the card if you can't take out the case? You can break it. Good, actually. <laughs> so it's fake. Are you trying to sell fake cards? I'm not. I, I, I kind of want to know if why it's fake and how you can tell. Like, did you think this was real? I wasn't sure. Like, how much are you trying to like? Were you walking around trying to sell to vendors? No, I was walking around to find a screwdriver actually. <laughs> but I came to you guys and I thought. So look, magic was the card is go. fake. You can tell. Look, the margins are right. The colors not right. Look at the back. It's it's kind of fuzzy. You can bend it. Will rip test prove it? I, I'll rip the card. Absolutely. Rip test. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna get a resolution. Uh, I don't want a fake card, so go ahead and rip it. Tavis, you want to take a look? Tell us, tell us why it's fake. Why? Why? All right, there we go, Tavis. Explain. Explain yourself. Yeah, we'll oh, man, you. Wow. Oh, so you, so you know, your know, first thoughts, it feels wrong. It's touching it out of sleeve, that feels wrong. Speak up. The uh, the printing's not right. The color's wrong. Man, the way it feels is just way wrong. Is it even close? No, no. I mean, it's, it's paper. It's still made out of paper. But other than that, the, uh, it's not made by the same kind of equipment that prints real cards. The uh, the coloring is on the border. You know. This is printed by the PF Chain Company. Oh my God. Totally not right. Ah, oh, and, what, and what should it be? What color should it be? Should be like a bluish core paper. Blue, yeah. This is a black. So even if we do the light test, we put a light through it, it's going to come through like a dark yellow. In addition to, so it'll even, it won't pass even those tests. It's got a, I feel like a deck of playing cards almost. Even the texture, the inks. All right, cut this shit off. No, 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 don't cut it off. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. One more thing. Another, another test that I always do is I make sure it tastes good. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, no, man. A hard and crusty. Uh, I don't like that. Now, real cards have a softer, more like a pasta taste, like, like more a of a. This is more like a like a cheap hamburger like this, taste. This isn't properly aged. This is yeah. This is more of that Cut musty like. Right, we are entertainment channel. Get out. Turn 